February 1959, Bickley, 15 miles from Perth, the site for the transmitter tower. Building contractors soon discovered that the ground was almost solid rock. Then the first blasting to prepare for foundations to take the weight of the giant 475-foot tower. March 1959, cement was poured for the concrete tower foundations. The work went on, the tempo quickened, and progress was evident at last. The scene changed. Tewart Hill, 15 miles northwest of Bickley, became the next focal point. Clearing began. Trees fell. Bulldozers and cranes pushed and heaved. Here, virgin bush had covered loose sand. Hot work this in the late March heat. From studios to be built here would emanate live shows, newscasts, films. It would be the nerve center of all production. April 1959. All cleared at last, and now to level it. May 1959. Back at Bickley, work was well underway on the construction of the tower. Slowly, surely, the mighty metal members were pieced together, just like a mammoth Meccano set. From across the seas came the liner Oronse, bearing 80,000 pounds worth of transmitter equipment and instruments. After careful unloading, the precious cargo was packed onto a fleet of trucks, then convoyed with police escort through metropolitan highways and city streets to Bickley, where building construction was well underway. Here it was unloaded, uncrated, inspected. How did it travel? Any damage? No, it's in good shape. And so all was clear to begin the laborious process of installation. Simultaneously, the tower was growing taller, despite tricky winter weather, which made things difficult and hazardous for the riggers. Meanwhile, at Tewart Hill, all was on schedule. The first framework of the building was up. Here would be the nucleus of the production staff buildings, spacious studios, film processing, projection rooms and change rooms, news department, administration wing. All were taking shape quickly now. As further transmitter material arrived, it was quickly taken to Bickley, where technicians unpacked it. Then, highly trained engineers tested the delicate electronic equipment. July 1959, still higher with the tower. It was now at the halfway mark. Our news cameraman went up in the rigger's cage to get a bird's eye view of the surrounding countryside. had to do this trip several times every day. From an aircraft, we get a 
different view of the structure which was becoming a landmark. July the 10th, misfortune, near tragedy as the top portal collapsed. The rigger's cage crashed to the ground and five men were injured, though not seriously. Delay was inevitable. Trade transmissions must now start later than scheduled. The top portal of the tower was buckled and would have to be replaced. New components were urgently fabricated in Melbourne and rushed to Perth by road. And soon, the setback was overcome. We built the station originally uh, from the inside out. We built the control rooms which are here first. We then began installing electronic equipment. We, we dust proofed it as well as we could. We then began building everything else around it because we had to have that finished first to start putting in uh, the electronic equipment. We didn't have any troubles here. The things went fairly well here. We had some trouble at the tower site in Bickley because we couldn't find water. And we bored holes here, there and everywhere, left, right and centre, all over the place. And in the end we had to resort to the supernatural and we got a water diviner who found water in one day. ago, the ABC's television station in Perth, ABW Channel 2, was officially opened by the Postmaster General, Mr Davidson. It was May the 7th, 1960, when the ABC lit up lounge rooms in Western Australia with its first televised news bulletin. Amazing. I never thought that 5,000 people in Perth today would come and see how their eight cents a day is spent. at Chewett Hill and well before the champagne was popped, the building activity was furious. And while the studio's foundations were going down at Chewett Hill, out at Bickley, bulldozers were clearing the way for a transmitter mast towering 563 feet above the ground. Inside, 750,000 pounds worth of black and white television equipment was installed. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, two jackets. It's nearly a quarter of a century since Channel 9 joined Channel 7 on Perth's commercial airwaves. That was back in the days of black and white, when the friendly city was only half its present size. Ten's imposing pencil-like tower went from ground up in just seven weeks, three times faster than any other in Australian history. These are the high-tech risk-takers, a rare breed who spend their lives dangling in the ether. When you're 180 metres above the earth, there's no coming down for a lunch break and it seems no time for fear or second thoughts. At Dianella Heights, the station's new temporary buildings went up almost overnight. Previous stations that are set up have various pieces of equipment that don't necessarily talk to each other 
don't necessarily integrate in the way that we've been able to achieve. And the cost of the exercise, when everything, including the new permanent building, is in place, there'll be no change out of $20 million. Then the record breaking began. The race to get to air was on. History was being made. The new direct link with the 10 network proved invaluable. A quarter century of experience was brought to bear as satellites around the world beamed towards Perth. It's been the signal sending television into our homes for 54 years. people haven't seen digital television before or used it in their own home, they're in for a huge surprise. The pictures will be startlingly brilliant. Most of us are already watching digital TV and get to see all the extra channels including Go, Gem and Gold. If you're still watching analogue, most TVs purchased before 2007, including some flat screens and all the old style box TVs will need a set top box and you'll need a set-top box for each television. That'll cost between $30 and $50. Digital recorders can also work as a set-top box. If you receive the age pension, disability support, veterans affairs or the carer payment, you can get a set-top box installed for free. Existing aerials should work. Since 1959, this tower in the Perth Hills has transmitted analogue TV into our homes. It was the first in WA, and Phil Salinger helped erect it. For him, the switchover will be bittersweet. But still, you've got to look ahead, and if you don't look ahead, then uh, you're not going to achieve anything. I don't know where you go from here, but as sure as shooting, you know, the march of science will produce something that'll make our mouths drop open. moving ABC HD to channel 24 in order to bring you a new dedicated 24-hour news channel. Reporting for ABC News 24.